Revelation chapter 10 And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was on his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot on the sea, and his left foot on the earth, and cried with a loud voice, as when a lion roars, and when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and do not write them. And the angel which I saw stand on the sea and on the earth lifted up his hand to heaven, and swore by him that lives forever and ever, who created heaven, and the things that exist in it, and the earth, and the things that exist in it, and the sea, and the things which exist in it, that there should be no more time. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he has declared to his servants the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spoke to me again, and said, Go, and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which stands on the sea and on the earth. And I went to the angel and said to him, Give me the little book. And he said to me, Take it, and eat it up, and it shall make your belly bitter, but it shall be in your mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said to me, You must prophesy again before many peoples, and nations, and tongues, and kings.